Hey there, friends. It's Laurie, and today I'm sharing three new Christmas DIYs. A snowman, a Christmas wreath, and a Santa Claus. I used mostly Dollar Tree supplies to help keep the cost down. The wreath form, it did come from Michael's, and I used a few things that I had on hand. As always, I hope you have fun crafting with me, so let's get busy. Getting started, I'm using a 10 inch wooden snowman from the Dollar Tree. I removed the tag and to keep the top of his head round, I'm snipping off the pom pom. To give my snowman a snowy look, I'm using two of the white microfiber pads from the Dollar Tree. I'll be attaching both of them and I'm starting at the bottom of the snowman, adding on some hot glue. I then placed the pad down, making sure it was just a bit longer than the bottom of the snowman. I need to round off the edges, so after turning it over, I added on some hot glue and pressed the sides down. I then turned it around and did the same on the other side. I gave it a couple of seconds to set up and then hot glued down the top pieces. As I was attaching them, I made sure to pull them against the rounded form. Once it's attached, you'll end up having extra fabric on the back. I cut a chunk off and then I hot glued it near the bottom to keep the snowman completely covered. I added the second microfiber pad the same way that I added on the first adding on the hot glue, and then placing down the pad. What's great about these microfiber pads is that two of them will perfectly cover the wooden form. When I was done, I then turned the snowman over and attached one side. I then added some glue and attached the bottom, and then attached the other side. When you're done, you'll have that same lump as you did in the first piece. And once again, I just cut that off. There's another small area without any white, and I filled it in with my cut piece. My snowman has a pretty good shape, but I wanted to kind of clean up the edges a bit. So I just used my scissors and trimmed them off. I'm popping in to let you know that today I'm participating in my monthly friend group collab. It's being hosted by my sweet friend Liana from Liana DIY. And this month our guest host is Linda's DIY by Design. Both of these ladies have amazing home decor channels and you can check them out along with my other crafty friends. I'll have the playlist linked below in my description. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking on that little red subscribe button below and leaving me a thumbs up. And to my returning friends, you know I'm always so happy to see you and I love reading everyone's comments. I'm adding a scarf onto my snowman and I'm using a piece of Christmas fabric. I had this on hand and it measures 24 inches in length and 5 inches wide. I folded it in half wrapped it around my snowman's neck, and then tied it once. To hold my scarf in place, I added on a bit of hot glue and attached the two tails together. When I was done, I used my scissors to trim off the two ends and to even them up. I'm hanging on to the extra piece of fabric because I'll be using that on the hat. I picked a children's black pull-on hat up at the Dollar Tree. It's really stretchy and I slipped it over the snowman's head. I folded over the top and then pulled down on the two sides. To attach it, I added some under the fold on the back of the snowman's head and then under the hat, attaching it to the back of the snowman. I then added some to each side. To fill out the hat, I'm using a little bit of polyfill, and if you don't have any of this on hand, you can always use some cotton balls. 
I tucked it up inside the hat and then glued it in place. Then to make sure that the folded cuff on the top didn't move, I added some glue under that as well. I'm giving my snowman those classic buttons, so I dug through my button jar. I found a red, blue, and green one along with two smaller black ones. I'm attaching the three larger first, finding their placement on the front of my snowman. Then using my glue gun, I attach them in place. The two smaller black buttons I'm using as eyes, and I like the shape, they're a little bit square. I found their placement, making sure that I centered them evenly over the buttons on the front, and then attached them into place with a little help from my cat Emmeline's tail. For my snowman's nose, I'm using a carrot left over from a Dollar Tree Easter pack. They sell plastic vegetables in the toy department and you can use a carrot from that instead. I snipped the green from the top of the carrot and then found its placement on the front of my snowman's face. You can always add your carrot sideways if you prefer, but I'm going the classic way and standing mine straight up. This next step, it's completely optional. I placed some powdered blush on the end of a cotton swab and added on two rosy cheeks. I'm now using that little extra piece of fabric that we saved from the beginning. I folded it in half to find the center, gave it a little pinch, and then using an everyday tie wrap, I wrapped it around and twisted it tightly on the back. I snipped off the excess and then found its placement on the hat. I used my glue gun and attached it at an angle on the top of the hat and you can always leave this as is, but I'm going to add on a couple more accents. I'm using a foam snowflake from this Dollar Tree pack along with a little red button from my button jar. I attach the snowflake with some hot glue and then attach the button onto the top. I wanted to give my snowman some arms so I went outside and snipped two small branches off of a tree. I placed them on the back and then kind of eyeballed it from the front making sure they were in the perfect place and then I hot glued them down. There's so much fluff on the back that once I had the arms in place, I used it to hide them. To finish up, I'm adding 32 inches of black ribbon that I already had on hand as the hanger. I added hot glue onto the base and the hat of the snowman and attached down both ends. And with that, this cute Christmas snowman is ready for the season. To make my Christmas wreath, I'm using a 16 inch greenery wreath and this came from Michaels. I'm using one bunch of white poinsettias from the Dollar Tree and I'm pushing the leaves up towards the flowers. There are seven stems and I clipped all away from the main stem. In addition to the white, I'm also using one stem of red poinsettias from the Dollar Tree. I pushed the leaves up towards the flowers and I snipped these off as well. I'm only using six of the seven flowers from each bunch. And before I permanently attach them, I want to find their placement on the wreath. I'm working my way around alternating the colors and placing them in at a slight angle. 
This also gives me the opportunity to move them a little bit here and there if I'm not happy with the spacing. With all my flowers in place, I'm using my glue gun and attaching them to the wreath. Because this is a Christmas wreath, I ended up using the red and white flowers, but you could change them up and use pretty much any color at all. I'm making a very simple wreath and I'm adding on some small pine cones that I picked up outside. I want them to look like they're covered in snow, so I'm going to add on some white acrylic paint. Using my paintbrush, I'm dabbing some white paint on all 12 of them. One good thing about using the acrylic paint is it does dry super fast. I'm evenly spacing six of them on the outside of the wreath. And just like my flowers, I want to find their placement first before I permanently attach them. Everything looks great, so now I'm using my glue gun and attaching them to the wreath. I'm now adding on my next six, and these I'm evenly spacing around the center of the wreath. Now, just like the others, I use my hot glue gun and attach them in place. I'm adding on the simplest of bows to my wreath and I'm using a one and a half inch red sheer ribbon that came from Michaels. I measured out a 12 inch tail and then made a simple bow with two four inch loops and then finished up with another 12 inch tail. I added some hot glue to the center of one of my white flowers and placed down my red bow. My ribbon is wired, so I ended up giving the two tails a little twist. This is so easy and inexpensive and makes the perfect addition to my Christmas home. Getting started, I'm using a 10 inch wooden Santa from the Dollar Tree. The pom-pom on Santa's hat will end up being in the way, so I just snapped it off. I'm setting that aside, and now to make Santa's beard, I'm using one package of the white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And it's not really white, it's more of an off-white. I measured and cut five pieces at 15 inches each. After cutting the five pieces of rope, you'll have a short piece left over. It measures about eight inches and we'll end up using that as Santa's mustache. I'm pulling apart and unraveling all five pieces of my 15 inch rope. Once you have it all pulled apart, it ends up being about 18 inches or so long. As I'm pulling them apart, I'm lining them up in a row. I also made sure that the ends lined up as close as possible. To attach Santa's beard together, I'm using a chenille stem, or some people call them pipe cleaners. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. 
I placed a generous amount of hot glue down the center of the ropes. I quickly placed down my chenille stem and started folding the pieces of rope over it. As I was doing it, I pressed down the rope so that the hot glue attached both sides. While the hot glue is still warm, I pushed together the two sides of the rope, making sure that it was tucked together tightly. You can leave Santa's beard as is, but I like it to look like individual strands of hair, so I started pulling them all apart. It's definitely a bit monotonous, but once you get going, it does work up pretty quick. I'm attaching Santa's beard to his face using my hot glue gun. I first found its placement and then added on some hot glue. You can always snip the chenille stems off if you like. I just attached mine to the top. Santa's beard, it's kind of a mess, so I'm using my scissors to trim it up and give it a shape. When I was finished, this is how my Santa looked. I'm giving Santa a nose and I'm using a wooden knob that I already had on hand, but if you don't have something like this, you can always use one of the Dollar Tree table tennis balls. Those are a great alternative. You can paint your Santa's nose any color you'd like. I painted mine with some coral acrylic paint. I added some hot glue just above the beard in the center and attach down the nose. I'm using the small piece of rope that was left over as Santa's mustache. I pulled the strands apart and using one piece of thin rope, I tied them in the center. I clipped off the excess and neatened up the ends. I added a little hot glue onto Santa's nose and attached his mustache. Because his beard is off-white and a little dull, I want to brighten it up a bit, so I'm using some white acrylic paint. I used my paintbrush and basically covered the top of his beard and the mustache. When the paint dries, it's not a bright white, but definitely brighter and whiter than the original rope. I'm using a Dollar Tree Santa hat for the top of my Santa's head. I pulled it over Santa's head and down on both sides. This would look super cute as a Santa gnome, but I'm going to be adding on some eyes. Now that I have it in place, I'm attaching down the two sides with my glue gun. I'm turning my Santa over and hot gluing down the back of his hat. I'm gluing down Santa's hat on the front and I'm kind of gathering it up a bit and pushing it where you can see the original wooden line of Santa's hat. Santa's hat, it's a little sparse on the faux white fur so I'm adding on one of the microfiber pads from the Dollar Tree. It's sewn together on the back and in between that center line is where I'm going to cut. I moved the white fluff out of the way and then with my scissors, I cut directly down the center. I now have two pieces and I'm only using one. It does kind of fall apart a bit, so I did my best to shake it and brush it all off. I placed the side with the finished edge down on the hat. When I had it in place, covering the original white, I glued down the sides. I then worked my way around the top, turned it over and attached the rest of the microfiber pad to the hat. I'm giving Santa a little mouth and I'm using one of the glitter vase fillers from the Dollar Tree. I'm using a pink one and if you don't have one, you can always paint one. 
I separated a bit of Santa's hair under his nose and attached the mouth. Once in place, I moved a bit of his hair over it. You can always paint Santa's eyes on. I'm using two small wooden circles and I found this package at Michael's. I painted them with black acrylic paint and after they dried, I put a white dot on each. I'm attaching them onto my Santa using some Elmer's glue, but any type of glue will work. I added two dots onto Santa's face, then placed down the eyes. Before I attach Santa's palm to his hat, it is a shade off, so I touched it up with my white acrylic paint. I let it dry and attached it to Santa's hat. To decorate his hat, I'm using three pieces of holly and a sprig of berries that I already had on hand. I arranged them on Santa's hat and then hot glued them in place. To finish up, I'm using a 32 inch piece of Dollar Tree Christmas ribbon as my hanger. I hot glued the two ends onto the back of my Santa. Now that he's complete, he's ready to welcome in Christmas. Here we are, we're at the end of the video and I really hope you had fun making these three Christmas DIYs with me. Be sure to check out the playlist. I'll have that linked below. And if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I hope you all have a happy and a safe day. And until next time, bye everybody.